Disney Cruise Dining and everything you need to know. Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Anne with some more of your Diz needs and today we're gonna talk about the main dining restaurants on Disney Cruise Line. Disney Cruise Line currently has four ships. There are new ships that will be coming out in the next few years. They have dining that's a little bit different so we'll address that as we know more. All four of the current ships have three main dining restaurants. The smaller two, The Wonder and The Magic, have themed character restaurants with the show. Tiana's Place on The Wonder and Rapunzel's on The Magic. All four ships also have Animator's Palette and each of the four also have a French restaurant in the main dining. They are Lumiere on Magic, Triton's on The Wonder, Royal Palace on The Dream, and Royal Court on The Fantasy. My sister and son really both love the escargot and they always order two. You can also order all appetizers or two entrees, really just whatever you want. It's all included in main dining. The Dream and the Fantasy have the Enchanted Garden instead of the character theme restaurants. For premium dining, all four ships have a northern Italian restaurant called Paolo and the Dream and the Fantasy also have Remy. Remy is a French inspired menu from three Michelin star chef, Chef Arnaud Lamont. I'm positive I did that wrong, but it's really a fabulous restaurant. There's five courses and it's top notch. Disney does dining a little differently than every other cruise line. Most cruise lines have their main dining rooms where you can just come and go as you please. Some of them may take reservations, but it's not everybody being assigned and they don't have rotational dining. So let me explain that. When you check in at the port, you're gonna get your key to the world card. On that card, it's gonna show, well, a few pieces of information, but we're focusing on the dining right now. So in the bottom left, as you can see on this example, we chose late dining at 8.15. We got assigned table number 71 and the letters below that is the rotation of the dining. So this was on the Disney Wonder. They have Tiana's Place, Triton's and Animator's Palette. What this shows is Tiana's Place on the first night, Triton's on the second night, Animator's Palette on the third, Tiana's Place for Pirate Night on the fourth night, and then they go through the rotation again with Tiana's Triton's and Animator's Palette. So when you arrive at dinner the first night, you show them your key to the world card and they will take you to your table. You will have three servers that will stay with you through the rest of the cruise. That's why it's called rotational dining because your servers rotate with you. You're gonna have your main food server, your beverage server and your head server. These three will rotate with you every evening through the main restaurant. So it makes it very easy for them to get to know your tastes, your preferences. If you like iced tea and coffee when you sit down, they might have that for you there every night. If children like their meat cut in a certain way, the servers will often do that for you. They're there to entertain the children a lot, which is a lot of fun, probably especially for parents. I have only cruised with adults and when my son was a teenager. So we weren't there when he was little, but I have seen how the servers really interact with the children at dinner and they seem to have a lot of fun. So with your main dining, you're gonna choose early dining or late dining. Early dining is typically between 5.45 and 6.15. Late dining is typically between 8.15 and 8.45. On the cruises I have been on, I have seen 5.45 and 8.15 as the two dining times. Typically, families with younger kids are gonna to wanna to get the earlier times. They do end up being on a wait list because a lot of people do want the early dining. So if you want early dining and you're not able to reserve it as soon as you reserve your cruise, just make a note in your cruise that you would like that and let your travel agent or Disney cruise member know that you want to be put on the wait list for early dining. If for some reason you don't get it assigned before you get on the ship, you can go straight to guest services and they might be able to do something for you there. But like I said, typically families with small children will enjoy earlier dining and adults will enjoy the later dining. It's still pretty loud in the dining room because everybody's there at once. So just a heads up on that. I love it. It's a lot of fun. Animator's palette has its own animation that it has added to the dinner. Tiana's Place has a bit of a show where they're up on the stage and they come through the restaurant as well. Tiana comes by to introduce herself to everyone so you'll get to meet her. And Triton's is kind of their nice main dining restaurant. All four of the ships, Magic, Wonder, Dream, and Fantasy will have Paolo. We have a separate video all dedicated to Paolo, brunch, and dinner so you can learn more about that there. They also have on the Dream and Fantasy another restaurant which is called Remy. And let us know in the comments below if you'd like some more information on Remy we can do a whole video on it. On The Wish, they will have Paolo's Steakhouse instead of Paolo, and they will have Enchante instead of Remy. So we'll see how that 
is once they get cruising. There's also something really fun that they have that's called Dine and Play. If you have a child between the ages of 3 and 12 and you select Second Dining, when you go into the restaurant, let them know that you're going to be doing Dine and Play that evening and they will bring you the children's food earliest so they can go ahead and eat and then approximately 45 minutes into the meal, someone from the kids club will come down and escort them back to the kids club. So that way they can be there at the dinner with you for a little bit and you can also have a leisurely adult meal once they go back to the kids club. Having your wait staff travel with you is also extremely convenient when you have a lot of allergies in the family or even just a few of them because they know your dietary needs and will make sure and adhere to that accordingly. Sometimes people need to make their menu selections the evening before if you have a lot of allergies to make sure that it's very safe for you and they have a lot of options so just check in with your servers on that and the great part is that they will be traveling with you so you don't have to go through that every night at dinner. So that's just great to be aware of that if you have dietary needs those will absolutely be addressed. There are different menus for different lengths of cruises. The four night cruises will have the typical menu that's in each of the three main dining rooms and then also all three of the dining rooms will have the same pirate night menu if you have pirate night on your cruise. If you're on a seven night or longer cruise they start to add in the prince and princess menu, be our guest menu, and they rotate through those menus as you rotate through the restaurants. Each restaurant is assigned which menu they will serve. So gratuities for main dining is a little different. Typically you would have your meal and then do the gratuity at the end of the evening. Since we have rotational dining and the waiters stay with you, you can either prepay their gratuities or you can pay them at the end or both. We typically like to prepay the $13 suggested per person per day that includes the three dining servers as well as your room host or hostess. And then we always add a little more at the end as well because they just work so hard and make it such a wonderful experience. So that's up to you. You don't have to do anything extra. And if you want to pay at the end of the cruise instead of prepay, that's fine too. If you're traveling with some other parties, just let your travel agent or Disney Cruise Line know to notate that on your reservation so that you can be seated together. And you can also link your reservations so that that's more obvious as well. The main dining restaurants are also open for breakfast or for lunch. They're pretty limited, so make sure you check into that if that's important for you. They'll have the menus posted outside. And if you want to request your server, if you would like to be in their station, just ask them where they will be and then request that when you go in. They do have character breakfast, so that's something to be aware of that you want to reserve when you do your online check-in ahead of time. They have 24-hour room service that's included. There's also all the quick service that's included. We'll go into all of that in depth in another video. Cabana's is the name of the buffet restaurant. It's open for breakfast from 7 to 10.45, lunch from 12 to 1.30, and then they have sit-down dinners from 6.30 to 8.30. So if you don't want to be assigned a time for dinner, you can go to Cabana's. I will say that we went to Cabana's for sit-down dinner. It was fine. It was over a really shaky part of the ship on the Wonder. So that was not fun. And the food in the main dining was better. Okay, so we've got a few pro tips because I like to end with pro tips. It just makes things more fun. On pirate night, there will be a late night buffet. That's typically from about 10.30 to 11 or 10.45 to 11.15, something along those lines. Not there for a long time. It might be a little longer than a half an hour, but it does go pretty quick. And there's always 24 hour room service if there's something that is just not available anywhere else on the ship. Cove Cafe also has a case where you can get snack type items. In the morning, they'll have sweet breads and in the afternoons, evenings, they have more like cheese, meats, olives, stuff like that. There are evening munchies in the sports bar. That's typically from about 10.45 to 11.15. Just a little bit of snack type items. And one of my favorites is Castaway Keys Serenity Bay, which is the adult only area. That lunch over there always has ribeye on it and I absolutely love it. It's so good. So that's it. That's what we've got for rotational and main dining on Disney Cruise Line. Please subscribe if you have it and ring that little bell. You'll know as soon as we put out any more information. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you real soon with some more Disney needs.